Tier list. Today we are ranking potential WCA events. Now I know Just Cosmic Cubing did a video on this, but I actually tried to film it before and I accidentally deleted all the footage. Brilliant. So, I'll do it anyway, because I think it's pretty cool. Alright, 2x3x3, by three by three. actually, you know what, let's just go rank all the cuboids. They all go in S tier. Seriously, if you haven't tried the cuboid, you are missing out. They are, like, they're, like, just so cool. The, the, it's like a shapeshifter, some of them, but, like, they come in all different shapes and sizes, which is really cool. 2 blind gets S tier as well, because it's really easy to learn, and that's actually a really, like, um... I guess the finding factor of which event should be added, like, um, would people want to learn two blinds? It's actually not that hard, and it actually looks really impressive. See, this next puzzle, the Ray Manx, looks intimidating, and not many people would want to learn it. And even if they were, the, po the top people would probably solve it in, like, I don't know, half an hour, so it wouldn't be a great addition, so... That gets F tier. This master scoop gets C tier. It doesn't look... It looks interesting, but I, I'm i doubting that many people would want to learn it. Ready cube, I feel like people would want to learn that. It's actually not that hard. That actually gets S tier as well. Killer Minx gets S tier. Mirror cube gets S tier. So the Killer Minx, it's basically the same as Mega Minx, but it's like a 2x2 two two version. And Mirror cube, it's really similar to a 3x3. Three three. Just like a different solving... I guess. 6x6 six six and 7x7 seven seven, both blindfolded. They get E tier. I feel like those will be really long events. Not many people would want to learn them. It would take too long. I don't know, probably, I don't know, 10 minutes, which is way long. Alright. 8x8, eight eight, this gets uh, D tier. Um, I feel like it wouldn't be as accessible as like 2 3 7 and it, it would just take way long so sorry i just love i just love the pun i just love that pun curvy copter gets ace here and the reason why it's because it's an edge turning puzzle and we already have puzzles in the wc that are corner twisting so pyraminx and skew or face turning so two to seven pretty much all of them but we don't have any edge turning so it'll be interesting to see something like this ivy cube will also get a tier it's corner turning actually that's getting s tier it's really easy to solve, to learn how to solve, and um, I feel like beginners would like it a lot. Mirror Blindfolded, that, that also gets S tier. If you go watch that video, I get top right where, wherever, I actually solve a mirror key blindfolded. But then I do it in traditional, like blindfolded solving. In traditional, you would like memorize the cube and then put on a blindfold. In the case of a mirror cube, you can just put the blindfold away and the reason why is because you can actually feel the pieces. And you should only do that if you know how to solve a mirror cube and you have enough experience with it. Anyway, uh, Master Pyraminx, that also gets S tier. I feel like some people don't even... Some people don't like Pyraminx because it's not interesting. So I feel like Master Pyraminx could be great for them. Plus, it's, I don't think it's that hard to solve. I'm not sure though. 9x9, nine nine. it's like 8x8, eight eight, but one, one more layer. 4x4 four four one-handed. Here's the thing with one-handed events. I don't think we should go over 3x3. Three three. If we if we do, then just go 4x4 four four and that's it. Because 5x5 five five one-handed would be... It would just take too long. And 4x4 four four one-handed... Like, I don't think it's a that good of an addition. But it would be... I don't know, probably D tier. I wouldn't. I don't think it's a great addition. This thing, a face turning octahedron. I believe it's a cube shape mod, but nevertheless, it is. It is a pretty cool puzzle, and it also brings different shapes into the WCA. We only have stuff like cubes, uh, tetrahedrons, and icosahedrons. It would be cool to have octahedrons, and in fact, this icosahedron here. That's why I'm putting all these cuboids in S tier as well because they're all like different sizes of cuboids gear cube that's going s tier because it's really fun to solve well actually i don't own a gear cube myself i actually own a gear cube extreme which is different i'm not going to explain it but it's pretty cool pll time attack in case you didn't know this is the event i guess in which you try to do every single pll how fast can you do it now as cool as that would be i'm putting this in f tier for two reasons 
one, you have to know every single PLL, and I do personally myself, but some people don't, and some people don't even use CFOP, so that just, like, takes a huge blow, and it's, like, too CF CFOP bias. I feel like if adding different events, you shouldn't bias anything. Like, in this PLL time tag, you're really biasing CFOP solvers. And the other reason is that, technically, there's no defined way to actually confirm that you've done every PLL. Like, if we were to actually do it, you have, like, little cameras, like, here and here and here, just confirming that you've actually done it. And my, actually, another reason, I guess you could cancel into other PLLs, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm just thinking about that too much, but whatever it is, I think it's too hard to organize and, and it gets F tier. Okay, last time I tried to film this video, I was struggling on what, whatever this was. Rescramble, I'm not sure what that is. I'm putting it in F tier. It's a picture of a solved cube and an arrow into a scrambled cube. Maybe you need to like take like a solved cube and see how fast you can do a certain scramble. I'm, I'm not sure. But whatever it is, I feel like there's too much explanation and that gets F tier. Make him blindfolded. Uh, I think it, it got all the same problems as like all these. It takes too long. I don't think many would, people would want to learn it. A Master Killer Minx, it's just like a Mega Minx, but it's a 4x4. Uh, that gets... Uh, maybe it's... C... Or B... Oh, uh, it's... If I put it in C, it's going to be better than the Master Scube. If it's in B, it's going to be lower than both of these two. I'll put in B tier. I'm not sure how long it will take to solve. I don't think it would take too long. Okay, and here we have the Fisher Cube, which is gets... I say S tier. It's just a 3x3 three three shape mod and it shape shifts. It's really cool. Alright, this is my tier list, so you can just pause the video if you want. I'll scroll down very slowly. And tell me in the comments what you would change and why you would change them, because I would really like to hear different points of views because I'm not I'm sure I'm sure I'm the only one that decides this exact and, and may I don't know I'm sure I'm not the only one that that prefers this as well but and can anyone tell me what this is this re-scramble all right thanks for watching and see you next time